Now, among the Roman Stoics, two are especially noteworthy. One is Epictetus, and one is Marcus Aurelius. And one of the wonderful ironies about the history of philosophy is that Epictetus was a slave and Marcus Aurelius was a, an emperor. And philosophy is the great equalizer. Both the slave and the emperor can equally well participate in a philosophy that is accessible to all human beings as human beings. There is nothing, nothing less, so, less conscious of social status than philosophy. A wise man, a man who is disciplined in control of his motions and follows the way of nature can be a good man no matter what his position in the social structure is. He is not responsible for the social structure and it is not his problem. If the gods or nature or whatever is controlling the world makes you a slave, then be a good slave. If God or nature or whatever is controlling the world makes you an emperor, then be a good one. Your job is not to disgrace yourself and live up to the highest potentials of human being.